Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. Today I will be showing you guys how to use the Shopkeepers plugin. Uh, so let's get started. With this plugin you get access to five different types of shops. Um, there's the buying shop, the selling shop, the trading shop, the bookshop and the admin shop. These four first shops are specified as player shops because they are um, a very easy to use for non-admin players and the last one is as the name suggests um, an admin shop you know only for admins um, but let's take a look at the buying shop so also for the four first ones you have to be in game mode survival to make them all right so let's make a buying shop so what you're gonna need is you're going to need something that you want to buy um, so it can be only one of it if you don't have that much uh, you don't need a whole stack and uh, then you want some money to buy it with and then of course our villager spawn egg and the chest which we make the shop with uh, so let's go over here when you hold your villager spawn egg in your hand you can see um, some something comes up in the chat that tells you what to do um, but I'm also just gonna show you also a little thing I want to add is that you can actually change in the config if you want the uh, you know s spawn egg or the spawn item to be a different item um, so it can be anything anyway we start with placing our chest down then we hold our villager spawn egg and we just right click the air to select the type of shop that we want to have and as you can see we selected the buying shop now then we right click the chest and we right click wherever we want our shop to be also a thing i forgot to mention that um, when you place your shop uh, you can actually shift right click the air to select what type of um, entity you want it to be so if we want it to be a wolf then you just shift right click the uh, the air until it selects a wolf and then when you spawn it, it's gonna be a wolf. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your chest and you're gonna add whatever you want to uh, buy and then you wanna add all your money. Uh, yeah. In the config, you can specify what the currency, uh, what you want the currency to be. On my server, it's emeralds, but uh, you can go into the config and change that if you want it to be diamonds or something. Um, then you can sneak right click this guy and you can see that our oak log has actually been added to the traits and up here are the barriers so uh, here you click to select how much you want to pay for this so uh, you left click to uh, select more and right click to select less of them uh, so I'm just going to do one for one, that seems fair, right? Actually, you can do the same here. You can uh, left click to uh, make it more and right click to make it less. And if we go out of the shop and just normally click on the villager now, you can see that the trade are like this. If I put an oak lock in here, I get an emerald. And you get your oak lock. Um, you get that person's oak lock in the chest and the emerald gets taken away from your chest so yeah let me just make it daytime here um there's a l bunch of other things that you can do with these villagers while um in the editor menu you can let me see you can set their name so we can make make him uh, john he is now john um and when you look at him it displays his name and also when you're in the shop it displays his name here we can also toggle baby variant. So now he's a baby. That's kind of funny. Um, we can choose his profession. So let's just make him a farmer. I don't know. And uh, we can choose what kind of um, biome he should be from. Um, so you can choose a bunch of different things. You can also choose his badge color. So you can see that little badge he has there. Um, you can choose... Uh, whatever you want um, but yeah and if you have a lot of pages with a lot of trades then you can go next page here and you can of course delete the shop here but anyway let's move on to the next shop so the next shop is the selling shop what you're going to need here is only an oak 
um, uh, not oak lock. It could be any block, of course, but whatever you want to sell. And then, of course, a chest and a villager spawn egg. As we did before, we right click the air till we see the selling shop. Then we place the chest, right click the chest and place our shop. Now we go into the chest and we place whatever blocks we want to sell. Then we sneak right click him and then we select what we want to sell it for. But let's just do one for one as before. That seems fair. And now let me just take some emeralds from this chest. If someone comes up, he has some emeralds. He can right click here and he can buy some oak logs from you. And his emeralds actually gets put into your chest. Um, so that is pretty neat. And same goes for this one. You can change whatever you want. Um with them all right next one so the next one is the trading shop the trading shop is a bit more interesting same thing goes for this one you're right clicking the air until you see trading shop you place down your chest right click the chest and spawn your shop now you go into the shop and here you can place whatever blocks you want to trade or items, of course. Right now, when you right click him, there will be a cross over here because you have nothing in your chest. But when you put that in there, boom, bada bang. Actually, let's take these out. Oh wait, actually that one. So now you have oak log and diamonds in your chest and you want to trade these items for lapis lazuli and oak planks. Um, you can of course select any item and when people walk up they can trade with you and you get your items in the chest. Pretty neat. Same goes for this guy. You can change anything you want. Call him Moon. Alright, next shop and the last player shop we got. That is the bookshop. And of course, same goes for this one. You right click until you see your bookshop, place your chest, right click chest and spawn your shop. Now, this one, you can sell written books. So if I just put a book that says hello, I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign it. I'm going to just say hello there again. You can put it into your chest and now shift right click him and he he sells you a hello book and you can change what you want to sell it for. So that is... Oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that um, it's not going to sell your actual book. It's going to sell a copy of it. And in order to make the copy, it needs a book and quill. So you put the book and quills in. And then um, let's just find some emeralds here. So then when someone buys one of your books it doesn't actually actually take your book it takes one of the book and quills um so yeah anyway that was it for the player shops now let's move on to the admin shop now the admin shop is pretty straightforward and uh, pretty easy actually uh, you don't need any items for this or you don't need a, a villager spawn egg and a chest you just look wherever you want the shop to be and then you just type shopkeeper and it spawns a shopkeeper if you want it to be another entity you just type slash shopkeeper and then whatever you want so like a cow then it spawns a cow um let's go and delete the cow um same thing goes for this guy as the others you sneak right click him to edit him you can edit whatever you want here um but he's, he's a bit like the, the trading shop. Um, you just put in whatever you want to trade. So let's just take some stuff here. And then you shift right click him. And then you put in how you want to, to trade it. Um, so these up here is what you want to give the player. And these two down here is what you want the player to give for your item so if i go out of him now he's gonna have these trades it's very very simple um we can also give him a name we can we can do whatever we want with this guy and it also you can also sell like a renamed helmet or something and when you trade it um, you actually get a renamed helmet so yeah that's pretty much it for 
the plugin tutorial today. If you have any further questions, make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. Like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.